Nihilus makes it super easy to send your first email in five minutes or less. This video will show you how it works with Java, but we also have SDKs for all the other languages you see here. Here's how it works. Your app sends a post request to the send endpoint of the Nihilus communications platform. Then the Nihilus sync engine creates the draft in a connected user account and sends it to its intended recipients. Let's get started. First, we need to authenticate an account to our Nihilus app. In the Nihilus dashboard, click Accounts, then Auth Account. This will take you to the Nihilus hosted auth service, which will prompt you to log in with your email account. After you've logged in, copy the access token that is displayed at the top of the page. We'll need it later. By the way, I'm using a Gmail account, and I've already configured my Nihilus app to integrate with the Gmail API. If you want to connect a Gmail account, head over to the application settings page for your app. This page lets you configure settings and do things like connecting your Nihilus app to the Google OAuth API. Now I'll head over to IntelliJ to set up a project that I'll name Send Email Java. You can use whatever development environment you're most comfortable with, but it does need to be capable of building with Gradle. Add the Nihilus Java SDK to the list of dependencies in your build file, then build the project. Next, create a new class named Send Email. Inside this class, we'll import the Nihilus Java SDK and create a main method. The main method will start by creating a new Nihilus client object and assigning it to the variable Nihilus. Then we'll get access to our connected account by calling Nihilus.account, passing the access token we created earlier. I've saved mine as an environment variable to make it more secure. Now we'll create a new email draft. The draft class has all the functionality you'd expect from an email draft, including the ability to assign the subject, body, and recipients. I'm going to set my subject to one email API to rule them all, and the body to keep it secret, keep it safe, or share it with your friends. You can also use an HTML file for the body content if you so desire. Next, I'll set the recipients for this email with draft.set2. This method accepts an array of name email objects that, as you probably expect, contain values for names and emails. I'll set the name to my Nihilus friend and the email address to swag at nihilus.com. Finally, it's time to send the email. To do so, we'll invoke the drafts.send method for my Nihilus account object and pass the draft we just created to it. Save the file, run the main method, and that's it. Our email has been sent. If I head over to my connected email account, I'll find my email sitting in the sent folder. We can see that it has all of the expected content, such as the subject and body, and has been sent to our intended recipients. If you forget anything you learned here, head over to the Nihilus docs at nihilus.com docs and click on tutorials. Here, you'll find this and many other tutorials that explain how to get the most out of the Nihilus communications platform. Let Nihilus power your next email, calendar, and contacts integration. Thanks for watching our video.